participating in the arts. Because I think in today's world it's really not fully understood why the arts are of value. And I think as we get further and further into um, understanding the universe, we're going to discover that the arts are certainly under-recognized and are incredibly more valuable. In fact, um, one of the things I learned earlier this year is that the arts are actually like a spectator sport. <clears throat> and the reality is that um, we're playing with ideas and we're trying to improve on what we do with the arts. And one of the reasons that I understand it's more of a spectator sport is when I was looking through the New York Times, I think it was one time, and I read that there was a very interesting <coughs> exhibit in Stockholm. And I'll try to print out some of this. I'll start passing the pages around for those who are interested. <coughs> and I, I think I'll start off maybe what uh, Doug might have liked. <laughs> it's just to introduce myself as well. I'm I actually am a retired physician. I've practiced medicine for many years as an internist. And I also realized that art was very incredibly valuable for individuals as they um, want to recover from illnesses and enjoy life. Sorry, <laughs> my cell phone is involved. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, I'll get that. Actually, that was my aunt. I forgot to tell her this going to be busy today. <laughs> so you were, you were a doctor, correct? Generally, to general, 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 general. That's a good general. thing. Yeah. Yeah, very good. We line up with all our ailments later. <laughs> 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 I just in, um, with the Queen's Long Island Medical Group, which is um, a staff model HMO, which was based in Queens. We uh, delivered um, care to um, patients who were enrolled in the health insurance plan, which was one of the earliest HMOs actually at the time when Fiora Begonia was um, the mayor, was when people were returning back, well... Put it on airplane mode. That's cool. Hi. Now it's on speakerphone. summarizing you know, the course of my career up to date is that I'm a retired physician. I um, practice generally internal medicine for many years uh, in a staff model HMO, which was um, the health insurance plan, which was um, first, I think, established at the time when um, World War II um, veterans or persons who had been World War II and had survived were coming back from the, you know, the service and they needed health care. So 
the health insurance plan was introduced by Fiora the Guardian. And that's, um, you know, today I was just speaking actually to someone and they weren't aware of who he was, but um, he was uh, one of the... We all know. I don't know what he was like. I'm, I'm a new... I'm a is he really LaGuardia? LaGuardia Airport. He's the mayor. Yeah. 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 No, I should be I'm honest, I'm, I'm to new to the... To yeah. the I'm originally from South Africa. I was born and raised in yeah. South Africa. And um, I immigrated to the country after my parents had immigrated. So, um, I've been here since about 1985. Oh, oh, okay. So, you know, they, they had actually had an opportunity to move before me, and I was still in college uh, finishing up my courses. Mm -hmm. And then I came afterwards and I joined them. Uh, I have younger um, siblings who were fortunate enough to come, and they got some of the education in the United States. I came after them because I was fortunate enough to get some of my education in South Africa, which was relatively good, actually, to mm -hmm. some degree at that time. So, I don't know, are there any questions about... Um, what got you involved in the uh, arts? Or did you arts. always want to... Well, that's, yeah, that's a very good question. Um, my parents uh, were professional, but one of the things we did enjoy when we had time off for vacations was, you know, to enjoy both, you know, going to museums and um, occasionally to the theatre and I think they felt that was an important part of my upbringing as well. Mm -hmm. and, um, Did your parents move uh, to the United States in 85 because of apartheid? Um, yeah, my mom felt that she didn't want us to be in the army, okay. to be honest. There was um, a lot of unsettled um, Feelings about what was going on at the time, mm -hmm. and I do have two brothers. Be louder. Sorry, I have two brothers and one mm -hmm. sister, and they felt that they didn't want me to go. They didn't want me to be in the army at the time. Mm -hmm. South <coughs> Africa. Man. I mean, it's a different, different place. It is different, and I was talking earlier on about how the dismantling of the apartheid was somewhat successful. I mean, there still is a lot of um, maldistribution of wealth and injustices. But the fact is, in many respects, they did legally dismantle the, the system that was existent. They did uh, join the Nuclear Anti-Proliferation Pact. Right. And things are somewhat improving. It's still got a very high incidence of HIV disease. And um, mm -hmm. one hopes that things will improve with the passage of time. I think compared to the rest of Africa, it was always considered what uh, one might say, you know, a, 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 you know, a good opportunity to actually you know, help and help the rest of Africa survive. So it's, it's fortunate that uh, the, the transition was somewhat less. Um, it was less, less, I think, um, dramatic than it could have been when Nelson Mandela was released. And it was a totalitarian, totalitarian state at the time. Yeah. Um, there was very little acknowledgement as to who Nelson Mandela was. Mm -hmm. In fact, during the course of my university career, I knew very little about who he was and what he was advocating for, and it was hard to understand. Um, some of my fellow students were more politically active than I was. In reality, I just wanted to <coughs> study and try to immigrate and get to be with my parents because I knew there was more opportunity and stability in the United States. Sure. And um, I was fortunate to be able to immigrate to this country. Mm -hmm. And I think this country was very helpful in negotiating the changes that occurred. And unfortunately, South Africa still played with very high HIV disease. Mm -hmm. and. Um, mm -hmm. There's an, a need for a lot of change, but I think things take years to improve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I believe it can be done. So, um, any further questions? We need to know about that art. All right. <laughs> 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 Thanks for letting me see. Because <laughs> that's what we're really going to do. That's but right. but yeah. I want to say the funny thing about art is that there is a lot of political and um, connections to art. So it's, one shouldn't deny the fact that it's important to discuss mm -hmm. the politics. 
And as I was saying, I'm going to pass some of this around for all of you to enjoy. I mean, this knowledge is available on Wikipedia. Today I happen to have the privilege of listening to Helene. And as we were talking, I was trying to Google a few things and learn a few things. And I do find that it's, incre it's incredibly important to keep trying to learn more and more and more. So one of the things that inspired me to start trying to reenact part of what I think is, um, I think, modern art at the turn of the century is when I read this article, and it happens to be from, um, in, in, I read about an exhibit in S Stockholm where they compared these two artists, so I don't know if any of you can see that from there, but they have, um, he was wrong, and it was in, they compared Pablo Picasso to Marcel Duchamp. And it just so happens that um, during the course of his life, um, Marcel Duchamp seemed to have got very little recognition. I don't know if anyone in the audience is familiar with Marcel Duchamp, but he got very little recognition in his day because he was, what I would call myself, more of a conceptual, abstract, um, person. It wasn't like Picasso, who was a master at uh, the line and was excellent at sketching, and that during the course of his life, never throughout the course of his life, managed to uh, get totally divorced from having this uh, structure of a figure or a form in his art. He was never totally abstract. So, I don't know. <coughs> you know, as I said, I'll just read part of it if you're interested. Because at the end of his life, uh, Picasso had said, um, supposedly in his dying days, that Marcel Duchamp was wrong and that he was right. But what had actually happened is that um, Marcel Duchamp, being abstract and conceptual, had said that art was more in the mind. And I think Picasso always used to see things with the eye. And a lot of people have said to me, well, what is conceptual and what is abstract? And conceptual is working with ideas. So this little reenactment is actually part of what um, I guess one might, might incorporate some of the being of Marcel Duchamp. Because to a lot of you out there, this may not be art, and it may not have much significance, but it actually represents many of the different ideas that were um, coming into play at around the turn of the century, in 1912, when Marcel Duchamp was first on the scene. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with one of his iconic images. I know. Bill is because he has a lot of experience in modern art as well, and we were um, talking about it on the Saturday. And one of his images was when he put a bicycle wheel, an old bicycle wheel, on a chair, and he called that art. And a lot of people were taken aback and said, "No, that isn't art," or they didn't recognize it as art. And um, he also was one of the first persons who made a parody of the Mona Lisa by putting on a moustache. And people were taken aback. And they were quite shocked with the way he, he played around and did these things. And they didn't really think it was art. But towards the end of his life, um, he was the person who introduced Peggy Guggenheim, who was um, a very esteemed art collector in New York, uh, Jackson Pollock. And Jackson Pollock's work, which were totally abstract and are actually very hard to do because this is hardly like what he did, was conceived as suddenly becoming acceptable. And Peggy Guggenheim actually stopped uh, purchasing as much art, or much of, as much <coughs> of Picasso's art, and evidently. You know, Jackson Pollock became the next best thing, and that's why the exhibit was 
um, established as he was wrong because Picasso somewhat resented the fact that um, you know, the so-called new kid on the block happened to be Jackson Pollock with his ideas. And um, so I've kind of gone on and played around with some of these ideas to try to expand the conceptual ideas. So as you can see, this is um, oysters. Now I have to prepare this very carefully because often <coughs> in my nature they were uh, you know, in an oven and, and they were baked and then I painted them. So I started to use acrylic paints and I made it into design. Um, the interesting thing about Jackson Pollock, <coughs> have, any, have any of you seen Jackson Pollock's works mm -hmm. at the mm -hmm. museum? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the size of them is immense. So much more the same. And one of the strangest of things they've said is, did he ever go into sculpture? Now, do any of you think he went into sculpture? Do any of you know if Jackson Pollock made a sculpture? No. No, no, no. Well, the reality is if you read some of the fine print and some of the um, art books, he <coughs> was towards the end of his life also starting to make some sketches. <coughs> Do you even know how old Jackson Pollock was when he died? I may have already told you some of this. He's a young man. He's pretty 40s? You're right, he's 44. I mean, the tragedy with Jackson Pollock, I mean, if you've seen the size of his canvases and the way he made it, it was, uh, he died at the age of 44, unfortunately, because uh, he did smoke and drink excessively. He was an alcoholic, so he didn't help. Of course, there is that. Uh, that, 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 that yeah. Can I ask you a question? It's hard for me to look at this, and I know it's art, but there's nothing concrete about it. But that's what's hard for a lot of realists to really conceptualize stuff like this. Because when I paint something, and I paint it on a piece of paper or whatever, I know what I'm painting, and people know what I'm painting. When you look at something like this, there's so many things going on that it's hard to conceptualize what the artist is saying to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's, what, that's what's hard for me well, to look at something. And I'm being as honest as I can. I, no, I, absolutely. You, you know, it's, it's hard. Just one piece of art. Right? This is one you know, sculpture piece okay. that is meant to actually be explained. It really is a performance piece. Mm -hmm. it is, yeah. it's, 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 on its own, it probably will not be understood. And it, it, it does reflect to some degree how art is sometimes at the cutting edge. When someone explains it to you, then it does become more real. And maybe you will be more inspired to look into, try to see how art is both, you know, both structured in just with vision, but it's also structured with ideas. And I think the reality is neither, Picasso is neither right and neither was Marcel Duchamp right. They were really both artists of their times, both expressing themselves in different ways. A lot of you might ask, well, who was one of the persons Picasso gave a lot of credit to? Now, Matisse. Dali. No, actually, Dali was more, Dali actually was very influenced by Marcel Duchamp in the mm -hmm. Dada school and the Surrealist school mm -hmm. and the um, we're also very conceptual and, symbol and symbolic. Symbolic. There's a lot of symbolism, symbolism with those persons. But actually, Picasso was very, very formally trained. Yeah. Salvador yeah, Dali. Where do you put him in the category that they're talking about? Well, I put him in. Salvador Dali was a Dadaist, mm -hmm. and the Dadaists were persons who were absurdist, right? I mean. Um, Bill could probably correct me as well because he's got That's good training in art. But I, I think you would agree with me, right? Yeah. And the Dadaists, the Surrealists, and um, some of the, the other of those schools were very influenced by uh, Marcel Duchamp. Whereas I believe, if you look to to Picasso, he was a realist, his, he, he was a realist and his inspiration 
Yeah. Was before the turn of the century. Do you know which artist he, he loved? Of the Impressionists. Which of the Impressionists do you think he respected the most? Cezanne. Right. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. It was you know, very strange, and yeah. Cezanne was, was yeah. his inspiration. What's amazing about Picasso is, I, I, was, in, uh, I was in Barcelona uh, a couple of years ago, and I saw Picasso's painting of his mother on her deathbed. And this thing <coughs> is huge, and it is totally realistic. I mean, you, can, you wouldn't believe that Picasso could, could have painted that. Well, and that's, that's, that's from where he started. He saw it as a, as a complete realist. Oh, yeah, he was. Yeah, I saw yeah. an exhibition of mm -hmm. his yeah. early paintings. Yeah, was totally cool. realistic. Yeah. That was totally amazing. <coughs> really? Yeah. Is, I mean, he is a That's when he was a teenager. I mean, yeah. his, one, of, one of his most famous paintings yeah. at the turn of the century was um, Science and Charity. Yes. Which is, a, I, I think, his father was a very established painter, too, but not as accomplished as he mm -hmm. became during the course of his life. But Marcel Duchamp was very different because he never got uh, um, fame during the course of his life, life. But he was interesting because he did immigrate to the United States. And, um, yeah? Did Marcel Duchamp, did he do women descending the Yes, I'm actually going to yes. mention yes. that. That's yes. right. Yes. That's, that's, he, he became very famous for that, yeah. nude descending a staircase. Okay. And that, in fact, I'll, I'll post that around. Yeah, that, that was the next part I was going to go on to. Yeah. And I'll pass the image of that because this is, this is the new descending staircase. You can all look, look at it. Let's just start looking at it. We can yeah, sort of um, try to understand it for what it is. But the new descending staircase, to some degree, was based on a monochromatic photograph done by a photographer by the name of Maibuk. If that's what I've, if you do research on it, um, also, um, Maibuk showed a film of a nude descending a staircase. Mm -hmm. And um, what he did with the nude descending a staircase is he was catching the motions of a woman walking down a staircase, but he wanted to put it on a canvas. So he did show that in France. And New Descending a Staircase was totally rejected. <laughs> totally rejected. No one liked it. Just like the Impressionists. <laughs> it was. No one liked it. And then he came to the United States and was brought to the United States and shown at the 19, I believe it was 12 or 13, they had an armory show in the United States. And it was at that point that people began to accept it as a valid work of art. And um, so yeah, he did do that. Which can lead me to some of my other things. Well, Michael, if you want to I'm looking at this while you're speaking mm -hmm. and I see I'm trying to I'm trying to think the way you're thinking. And I'm thinking food, eating. Well that's true too. I think I think that's a good a good thing because all art is somewhat autobiographical, <laughs> and um, I, you know, I work with textures and sounds and things, and yeah, I think it's. I mean, I was surprised when I came or moved out more to the East End here to see how people love oysters and clams. Must have chickens also. So I've been playing with. <laughs> You, sh you should be seeing food there because it is somewhat autobiographical. Now, th this is obviously also something that's a play on um, conceptual work. If you, it's actually painted just very elementary, and I don't even really remember what I got in this, but it's just a simple poster paint. So, one of the things I think we have to remember is that Jackson Pollock was a house painter. Yes. He was mm -hmm. born and raised a house painter and he moved out to the East End when he was getting more, I guess, when he was unemployed. Yeah. There was the workman's, I forget you, that you imagine, how old was um, at the time of your, the president, um, um, what, John's, um, Johnson? Johnson. You know, was it John's? Was it John's? Kennedy, Kennedy Eisenhower. Just at the time. Right here. 48? 
Truman and FDR. Bruce, yeah. That was Truman. But what's this like the program when they were trying to get people back to work? Oh, all oh, the um, WPA, 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 yes. Yeah. It was FDR, Franklin Franklin. Franklin 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 so I think he got some uh, some subsidies from that Jackson Pollock and really inspired him to start being more an artist. There's a WPA thing out on Horseblock Road. If you want to know, uh, the, 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 in fact, the gym that it's in, they have WPA artist uh, murals on the gym walls. And it's amazing. I mean, they were all they were all like from the 30s. You know, the, the, the way they the way they did things in the 30s and in the early 40s. Really interesting. Yeah. So, this was, this was another idea I had. Yeah. Because a lot of people say, well, what is this? Yeah. And I think what we're working with as abstract expressionist conceptual artists is to try to do that proverbial thing of think out the box. Mm -hmm. So this is, if you want to read it, you're thinking out the box. You're thinking the box. Can you read that? What it says at the, at the, at the back there? An absolutely empty cardboard box. <laughs> <laughs> so you can all feel that, right? Yeah, it was an absolute, yeah. <laughs> so I don't think that's unique. Have you ever seen that? You must have been in a very interesting uh, position. Well, I had a little bit of fun. I did, coincidentally, when I had a great in the United States, <laughs> and I was trying to get my you know, embark on my career as a physician, I did take wow. some liberal arts uh, courses no. at um, <laughs> the University of Houston. And I did one, one semester of art there, and I, I, I enjoyed that, to be honest, and I was inspired to you know, try and incorporate it in my life. But I worked exceptionally hard and didn't have time to participate in the arts as much as I'd like to. And I did find that, you know, embarked on uh, my career and there was times of incredible stress as a physician mm -hmm. and one of the things is it is important to participate in, in arts to help you step back and relax and I, I can say that there's a little, with a little bit of ambivalence I didn't get that opportunity to step back during the course of my life and sometimes take a break. I mean when I was first training we were doing the emergency room we had to go see our hospital patients, and then we also had a, a setting, a, a, a clinical setting where we had to go to. So we were going to all uh, three venues. And nowadays things have definitely changed. They have emergency room physicians, they have um, hospitalists, they have outpatient primary care physicians. And sometimes it's really important for us to really work with whoever we're seeing to make sure that we can get the best care. And uh, things have certainly changed. Mm -hmm. the best. So when did you start getting involved in, in art? Well, do, when, I, when I was on vacations, I always used to try to go to museums and uh, enjoy you know, going to art So how long have you been creating? Creating art? I've been doing it all the time, really. You know, oh, okay. I mean, I have tried to create where I can, but it's hard to, to uh, obviously have someone ready to have a solo show. That's why I'm very grateful to, 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 to Doug and Carol, because artists have a lot of difficulty getting venues. They're not only getting a venue to explain their art, and, um, you know, a lot of artists get lost in the tracks, but the most important thing I, I really do feel is that it allows individual expression and it allows you to um, understand the tenets of what the abstract expressionists were trying to say, which is a little bit of an advance to what the impressionists were doing. They were sort of catching light and shade and, and sounds and being out in, in, in the in more aware of things, but I think the abstract expressionists were trying to capture senses a little bit more. And 
Who knows? I don't, as I said, it's, there is no one form of art, but it's a matter of trying to incorporate all forms to, to make us better artists. And I, I, I think that's what I'm trying to get from him, the feedback. I'll, I'll try to run through some of my other ideas, because some of you saw this, and this was called, I don't know if any of you remember the title. Yeah, it's a big title. <laughs> it was kind of big, right? Yeah, one of the What's the title? Yeah, the title? What's the title? This is one of my earlier works, actually, and I wasn't so happy with it. This was called. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was called. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have to repeat it because yes. it was a big time. <coughs> Nebulous. Nebulous. Chaotic. Big Bang. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm a very. I mean, I like the idea of science and the reminds of the creation, creation of the universe yeah. almost. It's like exploding. So it's yeah. a nebulous chaotic clockwork. So yeah. now, why is it called clockwork? Because right. actually, Ruben, who I I credit for actually not only sort of inspiring me to present, but also bringing me also into the group, had said um, maybe there should be a clock in there, all <laughs> right? <laughs> But I had actually decided to do something that I've considered a little unique. I had to have it um, wide this way. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> when people first see this, you know, they you would say, well, actually, it's, it's sort of signed in the wrong spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it should be more conventionally signed this way. <laughs> but it can be rotated. It reminds me of like one of my friends. Uh -huh. uh, you know, <laughs> right. And, and, and not only can it be done, it. Can it looks like a guitar. Now it looks like a guitar. <laughs> it looks like an hour clock. You know, now no, I could do this. I can ask you, what is your preference? I like that. Like no. Uh, no. Like the other way. Yeah, no. 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 I mean, unfortunately, I'm not that skilled to, to be honest, to oh, you nice job. do, you know, I did purchase this and it had already been, you know, but Jackson Pollock, if one tries to learn about his techniques, was using canvases which he rolled up, mm -hmm. he would uh, roll them down on the floor, mm -hmm. he certainly wasn't using an easel, no. No. <laughs> and he was probably, he was putting it down like this, and you just go like that. Yeah. And you never touch the canvas. Right. No. And, but, and he was using house paints. House paints. House paints. And he would sometimes stamp out his cigarettes. And the, there was one thing he did that a lot of people don't realize that Jackson Post did when he did his artworks. What do you think he was doing? Tricking. I'm a tricky. Well, he's tricking a lot. <laughs> Unfortunately, there was something that people don't realize that he loved. And he was American, and he was from, I believe, uh, Arizona. There's something that Jackson Pollock loved. And his wife happened to have been a Neil Krasner, who's also a very famous abstract expressionist. He loved jazz music. Oh, oh jazz oh, music? Yeah. yeah. He would be listening to jazz music in radio. That got him going. Yeah. So there was a connection between the visual arts oh, yeah, and the music. Is arts. that how you did that? Uh, I believe I did. Uh, to be honest, I can't do it, Jackson. Plus, I've been listening to Led Zeppelin. <laughs> <laughs> that's the music of our time, right? It's not for now. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, for, from a uh, personal perspective, I, I loved Dolly, and I hated any kind of art that came after him because they kind of like buried him, you know, in, in the press and in the art world. Andy Warhol like was put on a pedestal, and all of this drip painting that Jackson Pollock did, I didn't understand it or care for it. And I didn't like jazz music either. It sounded like I listened to Miles Davis and I heard his bar horns and it was, it, was just, it was too screechy. But then one day, I, I think I was starting to read the Beat Generation um, um, poetry and, and the same the books that came out at the same time. And all of a sudden I got it. And I just put on some jazz music and I ended up loving it. And once I understood that the music and the paintings and the books were all about the same things, 
Yeah. That, that's that's what, made, what did it for me. I understood it, and then I loved it. And take, it does take a while to... Yeah, uh, it's, 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 it's going to take me a long time. <laughs> 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 I don't I use it for time. All right, so this is the uh, uh, Irish one. I'll try to do a little quick. It does. It's going to take me a long time. So I'll do some of these smaller pieces too, which is one of the things I did do, and I think Carol realizes this. She says I shouldn't be too obsessive compulsive and I shouldn't miss the garbage in my life, which is, which is right. This is actually one of my earlier ideas before actually working on this tribute to modern masters. This was at a, at a, at a dump and it was a used, very common household object. I mean, some of you might meet me because I do go to the patch of library fairly often and they have a good printer. So I like to use their printer and just quickly print out some of these images. They do come out on their printing, printer very well. But now, sometimes it's like a little quiz, but it's also a conceptual work. It's been spray painted. Now, um, I'll get to this. this but you spray painted it. Yeah, I spray painted it. Okay. What is now, it? Yeah, it's like a what is the it? back of the refrigerator? Very TV? close, very close. No, it's a washing machine. Microwave. No, microwave. 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 Right. Yeah. It looked familiar. No, that's great. That, the thing is, who's it's seen the back of a microwave? Very, it's very, very <laughs> The title is very, is, the title is very <laughs> abstract. The last one Wait, out. Is that a photo of it and then painted yeah, over no, just, it? Okay. I, I had spray painted it and then I took a photograph. Oh, gotcha. You spray painted it. Yeah, 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 the back of it. And then, of course, it was uh, getting a little cumbersome. So I did it describe it, Carol. <laughs> but the reason this one actually More is like, <laughs> but this does have a title. It also is meant to be a tribute to a previous modern master, actually prior to the turn of the century. But you have to use it, um, you have to have an abstract idea or conceptual mind to think why I titled this. This title is called, it's a homage which is different from tributes. I, I mean, I don't know how to split the word sometimes, but this is called a homage. A homage. A homage. A homage to the theater. Okay. Uh, well, okay. Everyone knows who the theater is. Yeah. 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 You want to hold that straight and um, put it right on there so we can see what you're so you mean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so you're so busy. Pass it around. Pass it around. Pass it around. Pass it around. That is very cool. Why? Why, yeah, you, what is why, it connected? why did I name it that? Why? Because it's, it's, the Pieta is such a powerful work of art. It's so um, commonly seen and, and it conjures up such uh, emotion, emotion mm -hmm. that it reminded me of how we utilize microwaves so, so much in the world. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's a very, uh, a lot of households have microwaves. Just use it. Without even thinking about it. Without even thinking about it. Yeah, uh, personally, I don't know which is really cool with the microwave. I like to use it. I like to use it. I like to use it. But a lot of people have microwaves. So I was just trying to make an analogy to that. Now, this one is actually a play on. Marcel's to Champs new descending a staircase. And you'll look at it, it was actually entered into um, a um, canine companion show. I called them, I said, I'd like to enter a piece. And I said, but I'm an abstract art, uh, artist. So they said, well, if you're entering our show, you have to have a picture of a pet. <laughs> so, really? you know, yeah. So, I got some transferable stickers and I put it on, on this. Um, it's like a it looks like a shirt. It's the same as your shirt. It's a filter. It's a filter. It's an air filter. It is a filter. No, it's an air filter from where? Air conditioning. No, this is an air filter from my car. Oh, your car? You just got a new car? No, it was replaced. Oh, okay. 
So this was an air filter, and I, I called this, I called this ca uh, nude canines. Nude canines. <laughs> <laughs> you were one weird dude, nude I gotta tell you. <laughs> so I, I called the nude canines <laughs> ascending, ascending the abscess. So did they accept it in the show? <laughs> Did they oh accept it in the show? No, it got into the show, okay. but unfortunately no one bought it. <laughs> <laughs> and he writes on them also. I have to tell you, it's all... Yeah, no, that was the transferable stickers. You can buy those transferables. They're little doxy animals. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. 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 She's got one of those. Oh yeah, she's got a wiener. Wiener dogs on there. Her bones. All the things they like. Little four. That's funny. So, whoops. You don't want to spell it. You want everything to be hung in sexually. It needs to. Well, I started to do that. I like that. That's a good observation on your part. I like that. And that's a natural art. Uh, actually, these are interesting pieces of art, to be honest. I, I, I met a very interesting artist, I forget, he was from out west, because I did participate in one show. And he said to me, you know, this art stuff is so difficult. I was trying to get better and better and better at art during the course of my career. And there came a point in my life that I had to start making items that people would purchase and not, you know, and I couldn't concentrate on being as creative an artist as I would like to. So these were parts of the shelves that he used to sell. His name is, I think, called Peppercorn Jack or something. And he's from the East and he makes a lot of excellent wooden peppercorn um, dispensers from wood out west. So he had the shelves. He said to me at the end of the show, he says, Michael, you can have this. I said, oh, thank you. <laughs> so I took them and I thought, what am I going to do with this? Because, you know, it reminded me of the minimalist <laughs> school, actually. Because the minimalist school don't know what to do, what they just want to do is as little as possible. <laughs> so I had some of um, um, pastel. And I'm, I'm going to show you another piece which has what's called inverted spray paint, which I happened to have found one day. And I decided that I wanted to decorate it. But I didn't want to erase the knot in, this, in the wood, because yeah. I think that's very beautiful. Because sometimes, mm -hmm. once again, it's a material, and that I think what we try to do as artists is sometimes enhance things that we see. I mean, I, I know Ruben does that, even with just chalk. Uh, you know, it's such an elementary uh, thing. And so, I've enhanced this. Yeah. You said this is pastel? It's pastel on with wood, inverted wood. spray paint as well. And what's inverted what's spray paint? I'm going to show you a little bit oh. more about that. But inverted That's spray paint, I think I'll explain that to you a little time because my next piece has inverted spray paint. What it is, is if you go on the road, you can see um, sometimes they make markings. Where they go to oh, put a pipe, or they go to oh, yeah. uh, okay. do some construction. Is that what it so is? I was walking along, and there was an inverted spray paint. Otherwise, it doesn't hand. affect the wood itself. Yeah. It wouldn't cause a problem. Yeah. What, uh, it wouldn't cause a problem on the wood. No, no. no. I mean, this. But, uh, and then I had some old uh, pastels <coughs> that I wanted to also yeah. make the color. Okay. And then I didn't want to frame it, but I did. Mm -hmm. I did want to have it framed in a way that you could. Yeah. It, it, the title of this actually is there are another uh, two pieces that I did because he gave me four from his shelf. And it is, this has its called choice, which is something I think is very vital in, in the United States. One of the things that other totalitarian states, like I was from South Africa, and there wasn't choice and there wasn't. Um, the same choice. You know, you know, when really. There's a lot of, and you can have individual choice in the United States. So I call this choice the power of your imagination. And once again, it's, it's a piece that now can be rotated. Initially, I hadn't thought about maybe rotating it, so you can decide you like it this way. Where we go? This This one reminds me of the planet of Jupiter. Believe it or not. No, no. no. Yeah. 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 Big red spot. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a sunset. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, and see the and he used to the nod in the wood to yeah. 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 And I'll bet That's you if you were at distance back, it looked like a totally different. Yeah. 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 This is this is Carmine. This is Carmine's thing. This is Carmine's <laughs> thing. Where's Carmine? <laughs> Carmine thing. There he is. Carmine, this is your thing right here. <laughs> Not quite. Close. 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 Yeah. Close. So, uh, do, do you know what this was? I told you on uh, Wednesday or not? I mean, on sa uh, Saturday, did you see it? No, I, no, I wasn't there. I'm sorry. I was upstate. This, um, this happens to be, I think, people know this by now. What is it? I was in the shower, so I don't know. It's a filter. Yeah, it was an uh, air filter. I think some of you know the answer. Oh, that's the other side of it. Air conditioning. Air conditioning filter. I just know what that was. And it's been used, as you can see. Is that a new one or an old one? Oh, it's old. It makes a difference, you know. Absolutely. I wouldn't want to use a new one tomorrow. You're a conservatory. And you enhance that with paint. Right. Now, this is the inverted spray paint. Inverted spray paint. Yeah. Which I found, I, I, I used that in that area. And different from regular spray paint. And actually, I don't like to use spray paints much because I'm scared of the fumes and that. Is that permanent? Um, what? The, the inverted? Just, no, it, it's, I think it's not as permanent as this other spray paint. Because I, you know, I would think it, it disappears on the Yeah, it does. I used to use it for so work. So why would you use that in yeah. a I was just, I, I first of all found the inverted spray paint. It's, it's, it's just discarding on the side of the road. Yeah. 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 But that, that piece will not be permanent. It is very just to his defense. No, it won't be permanent because <laughs> over 100 years that thing's going to disintegrate. But being that it's a filter, the, the, the paint are embedded into the fibers. So that's going to last a lot longer. A lot longer. Because you've got it on the grass, it's going to last even longer. It's good for about 100 years. Good for about 100 years. And it will change in time. This reminds me of a lady by the name of Ashley. She was called Roman. Hey guys, I mean, I'm, I'm not as good at movies as I'd like to be, um, but there was, Fellini is an Italian oh, movie man. Yeah, I, I, I believe there's a movie in Roma where they found this cave with some uh, very ancient writing, and as soon as they got in there, it disappeared because of the atmosphere of change. So, you know, life is like that. Things are going to disappear. But at least in the process, I've learned about the materials, and that's, I guess, what it is. We all just have to well, it. Uh, I paint in watercolor, so, you know, it's something you think about when you buy paint. You know, mm. what colors are permanent and what manufactured. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, but maybe my art will be. <laughs> so, well, hundred years from now, you're going to drive some conservative crazy because it's going to try and figure out how to fix this thing when it <laughs> there won't be any air filters around. <laughs> I'm sure somebody must have asked you. You never throw anything away, right? <laughs> no, I'm going to. Sure, it's a 62 volt filter. <laughs> Doesn't get good miles of air filters. Yeah, yeah, the air filters are gone. <laughs> Yeah, now this is, a, this is an interesting piece as well because once again it's a play on uh, modern work and like a Russian change. <laughs> well, this is from an old art book that I was given and I treasured it. But it was really getting, uh, the, the cover was getting really tatty and torn and worn out. So once again this is part of my introduction to what modern art is about because it was a book about it's called Dictionary Paintings, but it was very torn and worn out. And as you can see, you might recognize that. What's that? Mm -hmm. that Dictionary picture? of Modern Painting. And who did that piece there? Can you pull it up, please? I have no idea. And it's 
That was actually, I think, one of the colors. I think it's Picasso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Picasso. I don't know which one it is. Oh, the Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame. I have a book since art since 1945. Very interesting book on how all the years of stuff. Art since 1945. Why are we looking at the sign? Well, that's that's the thing. <laughs> it turns it, it turns it over. Let's turn around. Wow. Okay. Um, it was entered in the competition. I tried to get it in, but it didn't get in because it was meant to also have that flair. How sometimes um, the past art or what Picasso had led into something more totally abstract. And it's, it's, it has an interesting title as what well. What material did you use on that? This is just uh, it's all acrylic. Paint. Yeah, it's, no, it's just poster paint. Oh, I like poster paint, paint because okay. it was uh, non-toxic and uh, what paper did easy you use? to work. It was just photocopy paper. Really? And, yeah, and then it's been, um, you know, with double-sided uh, tank. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like the way it's mm -hmm. framed. Yeah, it was. I was uh, yeah. talking to a person actually assisting me with this. Yeah. But the whole idea is that it was connected with the winter we had, actually. It was dated the 15th. Oh, wow, I dated it correct, incorrectly. I wasn't <laughs> thinking. But anyway, it, it was dated when we had a very heavy winter. Uh -huh. And it was called a Crimson Rambling Winter. Mm -hmm. um, so that was that one. Um, so this, okay, this is another one that actually brings um, my family into the picture because our kids nowadays have incredibly common objects. Once again, this was going to be thrown away. You can serve right. everything. That looks like well, I don't, I don't, I'm trying to not collect things anymore. I want to see your only computer. Uh, it's yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. It's an old keyboard. It is an old keyboard. Yeah. Oh, it's ancient. Even the keys are not ancient. The keys are not ancient. The keys are not ancient. It's still USB though. Nice. Oh, why, do you, why do you say this is Reminiscence of your family. Oh, because they're throwing out the keyboard. Oh, that's the reason. That's okay. Gotcha. I actually have kids, and they were. They said, you know, we need a new computer. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. And they were very happy with it. Yeah. But this is an interesting work of art because you can shoot it out of a white background. So no, 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 no,
Say la vie soukin. Yeah. Because everyone's throwing things away. Yeah. Yeah. So it Like Andy Warhol. It's an homage to Andy. Oh, yes. So this is um, <laughs> that, and this is another interesting series. <laughs> Um, I, once again, this is a uh, photographic. Uh, well, I, I should maybe have a look and see. Oh, this was old photographic paper. Oh, okay. And then um, one thing that fascinated me to me that I had for many years was a. Um, um, you can see multicolored crayon, mm -hmm. and this was playing around with the uh, inverted spray paint actually before I managed to have the piece. This is a bunch of infrared uh, looking at the stars. You look out space and infrared, all you see is a big volcano. It's really cool. Uh, you can it's actually framed on the I had a frame and it melted out. It's really cool. That's, that, that, that's a really different piece. It's like the nebula. Yeah, that's what we said. Yeah. 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 Constellation. Ah. Okay. I should send it to my son-in-law. He'd probably think yeah. it's kind of a thing up in the sky. Yeah. Okay, Okay, I found something you didn't see. You just use ordinary poster paints there? Just yeah, that's what I was, now that's, I'm going to show you some of the other ideas I had. Was Pollock the only one you really were interested in? Or? Like there's so many different... No, there were, yeah, there were that's a very good point, because there were multitudes yeah. of those yeah. abstract you know, expressions. You go to the Metropolitan Museum a lot, you know, right through the whole thing. There's a whole... Dekunik, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Now, Dekunik is, is exceptional. Well, he was um, more of a draftsman. Yeah. And uh, they, they, they were up, they were up had a lot of um, yeah. and and the size of the pictures. It's hard to do the painting. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I guess I don't know how they must have had a lot of teams of people helping them as well. Yeah. Well, according to uh, the movie that depicted Pollock's life, he did it in a gigantic barn on the floor. Yeah. Right. Wasn't it a barn? It wasn't that big a barn. Yeah. Yeah. Space, yeah. space is about yeah. 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 the same. The space is a little bit bigger than this room. You're talking about Nikoni? No. Oh, 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 but it was an old. Yeah, they they mean, you know, it's, it's, it's a replica of it. It's in the spring spray to see you in the It's so painful. It was a slide apart from the house. They could have placed it over my house. You have to wear it. You have to take a shower. They could have placed it. I'm trying to fix you. Um, here are some of the ideas that I, I've been working on. Um, with, with, I, I try to bring in things that I've used so you can see the materials I have used. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What is that? It's a custom hair that I've, I've used. Yeah, this, yeah. This Are you concerned about having a waste? Well, I, I'm using a camera. And At times. This is what I've you know, done is I've played around and then I've taken photographs and then I've seen yeah. printed up the last there were, uh, So first I was phases. using poster paints and then of course I was also using <coughs> wow. how much the inch of this abstract art is temporary. Did you bake the paint onto the shell? No, no. These are what I'm saying. As Elmer was saying, it reminds me of food, right? Which is, which is true. I mean, I wouldn't want to 
That's the name. What is the name? What is the name of that? This is this work, this little installation piece. I actually call it the Assemblage. Assemblage, which is a, a, in a way, an Assemblage is a extension of um, collage. Yes, but what is the sample? What is sambalage? That's really sexy way of saying it. What do you call it? Make it sound French. It's more real. Speak English. That's that's. You know what? I'm going to she pushes, you know, like, like everything that a homeless guy would like. He's got a bench to sit on. Oh, oh, I'll tell you. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is this dish? Is this the tequila sunrise you were going for? By the way, this is, well, we all. This is ice cream. Well, these were found in a thrift store. These were found in a thrift store. It's Sunday. Actually, it's, uh, I'm not sure what type of my glass this is. Thanks for coming back to us, but I didn't finish explaining it. Well, this is like um, it's like a I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sherry. Sherry, our little port wine. Do you set this up the same way? Absolutely. I do. Because I do like the idea that you had that yellow piece on top. It brought me down to the yellow piece. Yeah, I'm trying to construct it in a way that it's more meaningful. I mean. That I speak to people have, and I explain to them. Yeah, so I'm trying to the orange. Well, that, that, of course, is, um, you know, it's kind of like the orange is the orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yes. the yeah. uh, yeah. yeah. uh, 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 you know, I never had an idea. It says, you know, <laughs> it's, 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 it's important if they, you know, it's a, we all think that it's a glass empty, you have empty, and you have full. So he's mm -hmm. one of my mentors, an interesting person, and a good, I think, trainer. Or, he said to me, it's not, it's not whether the glasses have empty or have full, what's important is, What's in the glass? That's <laughs> true. Okay. <laughs> Some of you may have heard that before. Who's heard that before? I have. Yeah, right. Not to me, but. Where are we? My fault. So this kind of goes with that story. It's, it's yeah, the same thing. Of course, one of the debates we always have is about what's the right thing to use a straw or use a glass. Yeah. 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 Ye
Um, well, call it a cup. Mm -hmm. They may need a straw. Yeah. Some people yeah. may be able to drink it without a straw. And then I feel, for example, if you don't need a straw, then you could drink it by holding it and then you could taste it more. Mm -hmm. So mm. it depends on the How do you come up with an idea like that? Yeah. When you're looking at something like this, <laughs> it's interesting. Do you have the idea of this or are you putting this together and then see that and think, well, what can I do with that? Or apply it to it? Or I don't know. Well, I, my mind doesn't work this way. <laughs> 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 a, lot of, uh, a lot of us don't work this way. Yeah, I mean, we have our own ways of thinking about what you're really doing. Whether you drink one way or another or not, how you see something full or empty, you have to think about it. Yeah. You should stop. Life goes by things. so fast that you don't. Well, well, what made you think to add that to your. Yeah. Well, I think it's a very common uh, thought that um, nowadays in, in society we have this contradiction in terms as to whether you know we should have a, a si and the size of our portions. One mm -hmm. of the things is what size portions mm -hmm. should we have? It should be up to and the individual. It's, it's, oh, right. and, and we as individuals in society mm -hmm. do have to decide what, where, when, and how. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's very critical for us to proceed uh, in deciding how we're going to live our lives by incorporating those questions. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that's... Do you... Do you agree? I'm thinking, which way should the toilet paper roll go? <laughs> no, that's a good question. Now we're getting really deep. That's a big oh, problem. That's a big problem. I've actually failed military what, inspections because mine wasn't rolling the way. Oh, jeez. Which way is the least well, you can go forward. So that you remember when we had a conversation, you don't... No, but you know what? You know what? I think it's a gender difference. It's a gender difference. Really? You think it's a gender difference, whether it comes from the top or... Yeah, I've, I've heard. Now, you oh, you're right, because no matter what way I do, my wife says it's wrong. What's new about that? Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> Can't believe you said that. Just leave it on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that, 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 that according to some of the studies, now I'm no expert in this area, but according to some of the studies, I believe the... the there is a preference for women to have it come under. Under. Yeah, right over the top. Do you perhaps make a first, or do you like put out a plastic cup with a straw and say, we have to think about how we drink? You know, that's interesting because I come from like family with, where we have different personalities and sometimes people want you to think the way they would like to think and mm -hmm. I look at art and I think we're all like this as artists we have what's really an extended form of play we're really playing I'm playing with what Marcel Duchamp is doing <coughs> ideas and concepts and with things that I see I think we're all just playing and trying to recreate to some degree things that we've learned. So I just look at this as play. Now I know that there's certain people who just don't want to play. And I think the older we get, we lose that uh, ability to play. But I think artists have that ability to play and enjoy more than the average person. But maybe they're playing not the way you play, the way they play. I'm sure everybody observes things differently. Absolutely. And I, for one, observe every day. You can notice something you passed a thousand times before, and all of a sudden you might see something that you never saw before. We finally see it. <laughs> and that's an artist, I think, all of us agree. That's what makes an artist. Observation. Absolutely. Because no day is really truly the exact same as yesterday. No, no, no. That's true. Whether well, it has to do with lighting or texture or whatever. What's on the tray? The tray is what... Now, I did participate in a couple of musical events. I was going to read some of my um, biography. I think I... 
Yeah, it's muscles. My wife would love that. She loves her muscles. Well, I, I like to cook. And once again, if I've cooked muscels, I've kept some of them. I've also discarded some. And I, 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 I participated in a couple of events with a person um, who, who encourages artists. His name's Rich Rift. And he does set up uh, musical events. And um, what I like to do is take, um, yeah, if I go to any of these events, I like to have uh, poster paints or watercolors. And then I'll just do that. And then at the end of the event, I'll take a photograph. So this, this is well. This is like the photograph I made of the the um, when I stop before I actually formally put those in this. By the way, wow, I could talk a lot because this this was more it turned out to be more of a sculpture. But initially, the pieces weren't sculptured into this. This I happened to purchase at um, a thrift store. Actually, uh, yeah, Actually, I think I, uh, it was expensive. I, mean, I, just, I just liked the design of me. Nice. And it would have been discarded. Yes, yes. And I didn't know what it was. You saw it for me. And actually, to be honest, this was shown at Guild Hall. I don't know if you're familiar with Guild Hall. Mm -hmm. It's out yeah. in East Hampton. They had a show. And I put this in. And I was kind of pleased I managed to get it there without breaking. <laughs> but that didn't sort of, you know. It was fun to take it and just put it in. And I liked it because it was more of a... You know, to start taking things from the canvas and then to sort of make it into a sculpture mm. is something maybe harder hard to do. But then when I took it there and I picked it up, which yeah. is sometimes people don't do that, you can yeah. pass it around if you want. Yeah. Yeah. It is only when I picked that up that the curator just said to me, you know, I don't know what that is, and I didn't know what that was. So do you know what container that is in? Nuts. Yeah, it's a cookie, yeah. 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 It's a cookie, by the way, just to come back to who sold the shop, is I think Goldman makes to me when we were discussing that um, on Saturday at the Wet Paints exhibit. He was very famous for doing what actually these are, which is ready made. It's, you know, it's not, it's, you've seen those things before, but you're looking at them again and you're saying, wow, you know, what are they? And it's making you think more. I mean, I didn't know much about oysters before I started to taste one, and then I saw that there's, I forget, there's, there's some from the west coast, and some from the east coast, and there's this, southern and that, one, southern one, yeah. and all of a sudden I discovered there's many different types of oysters. I mean, I, I, I mean it's, it's a privilege to eat these things. Oh, it's interesting to, yeah. and then there's ones that are cultured, and then there's one that's like, yeah. Wow, well, I, mean, I, I don't know much about that, so it certainly made me think about the world we're living in. You, you don't have oysters in South Africa? Um, yeah, they, they probably are. But actually, South Africa is very famous for crayfish. Right. They're lobster. Right. And in fact, um, it's, 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 that's an interesting story to bring up there, because during the embargo, South Africa would not allow the general public to eat lobster, they exported <coughs> lobster, but the general public didn't eat them, yeah, right. so they became very prized. <laughs> but I, I've, I've never really wanted to use lobsters, I have a friend who is an artist, I'm in the art league, and he did look at this, okay, you see I did this, and this is more a planar image, you know, when I did it, I put them down, I took a photograph, actually I should have asked you if you can see it, but it is yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. and um, when I did that, um, he, he said they buy those, and you recognize them for what they were. Now, this lobster used to be a trash fish. Oysters used to be trash fish, too, yes. Really? It takes like a whole other level. That's interesting. You're also taking old stuff and 
renewing it too. That's another thing. That with all the stuff you do, with this, you're taking stuff that is maybe used up and putting it and renewing it in a different form. Yeah, and that's and that's part of what this is. And I think we 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 you know we it's a sort of history too. I mean, Alma, you, you make a very good point because I've got my family, I have a daughter. So um, she's interested in art, she's interested in music, and so I'm putting on making art, and she says, Dad, I know you're just connecting all the garbage. <laughs> Zing! How old is she? She's uh, 21. Actually, I am privileged, to be honest, and actually, um, if you're interested at the end, you can decide if you want to end this. Because I think some of you have met me sometimes, I say, oh, you can give me a card, I say, well, you can have one of these, and I'll sign it in my email. And this, this is an interesting one, because I have... Uh, the one thing I love is the fact that I have managed to, um, once again, into the I mean, 21st century with a smartphone. And I learned actually just on the smartphone, I can do a computer graphic. Did you do that on the phone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually did. I mean, I, I, mean, I haven't managed to do a lot of them. So it's, uh, wow. I transferred this uh, and then I like got it printed out. Nice. So this, this is interesting. I call this. I have a title for this. You can find it. Actually, you can keep one if you want. But this is the... Um, yeah, this is, I'm trying to figure out what this is. I don't know what this is. It, it's, it's, it's just a pattern and a design. Okay. But the title, I decided to choose the title as exclamation marks of color. Right? Exclamation marks of color. Of color. Color. Now, I gave it to someone and she looked at it and she says, exclamation of colors. And then she said, well, I prefer it this way. <coughs> okay. Okay. It's like candles. And you know what she called it? She Happy said, birthday. I'm going to call it I, 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 I and I, I, you. <laughs> me and you. <laughs> I, 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 I and you. 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 I she, uh, scary. Now, this, this is a piece I couldn't bring in today. It is in storage. It's too big. But I think I, I was speaking to someone else about this. It's, it's a copy of the naked city. Uh, this, this is, as you can see, it's, uh, there is a reflection after I took the photograph. Yeah. And it's, um, <coughs> once again, this is an inverted spray paint. I don't know if you want me to put that up again. Put the paint onto the grass. Well, no, no, actually, it was, it was I, I was in the mirror, mate. It's a, a double-sided mirror. Isn't that fish playing nice? I like fish playing. Say it again, Michael. It's a double-sided double mirror. And I'd spray paint the, the, the front with uh, some of that inverted spray paint. <coughs> And then the, so, some other yeah, spray paint that I had, which I don't like to use. Yeah. It's just done outside. Yeah. And this is real grass. Uh, it's just it's a reflection of the grass. Oh, it's a reflection of the grass. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I printed this out, actually. Wow. And, and this, this, I didn't realize this until I got a frame that uh, a double-sided mirror is found in an object that I didn't know. It's found in a... I was given this by someone and it's um, found in an HD TV set, high definition TV set, which is different from a regular mirror. That's why it's double sided. Meaning that you can see yourself on both sides? No, it's there. I don't know why. Are you talking about projection TV? Yeah, I don't know because why. projection TVs really no longer exist. The mm -hmm. plasma or the, or the LCD, the LCD mm -hmm. TVs. The projections, I could see there would be a double sided mirror. But they, they, that's old technology. They don't really use them anymore. So I, I wasn't sure of the technology myself. Yeah. And that, that's another thing about South Africa, just to diverge again, is that we were so late to have TV. It was actually introduced to the country, I think it's one of the last countries to ever get TV. Wow. You know, because they didn't want the public 
to um, be corrupted by any outside influences. So we sort of Sounds like Russia. No, it was a totalitarian state to some degree. So that's it. That's not many Russians had televisions either, believe me. <laughs> this, um, actually, this is also a, a little bit bright, huh? This was done with the poster paints at an event on a, on a different substance. Looks like you might be a con thing back a little bit. So. And you don't dilute them either. I see there's thickness. Yeah, this was yeah, it was nice actually. And this is um, it's also a reminder. A lot of people have thought of this as being um, Kadinsky and sort of Calderon's style. And he had a condition called synesthesia, I believe, where he's, he he thought in, in colors. And he was a, a Russian artist, and I. Oh, this this one is actually uh, also is taken just with a cell phone or the color that you was the color of someone's car, and it was I call this one Mars. 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 Yeah. Yeah. The red side. Yeah. 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 Oh, yes, yeah, here's a copy of um, what I use. So someone purchased this one. So I was surprised. He was gifted to an event that occurred as a museum of modern art. And um, there's a, a famous, uh, famous um, artist by the name of Martha Rosberg. And she had an event called the Meta Monumental Gerard Show. Mm -hmm. And I made an ensemble, and I actually took it there, and that was a funny piece of that put in there. And they bought that piece? It was just a donation, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. I gotta get it. You gotta stand. There's another one. Michael, and this, this you said was a painting, a big painting. It was painting. a poster painting, and then I just took a photograph. Now that's because it's poster paint. I've discarded the poster paint. How big was it? Was it? Was it? it was probably it was the size of this, yeah, but I was yeah, using yeah, a different. I was the, the, and the yeah. plastic underneath oh, was black because you could see it black and it's very it's small. small. Uh, yeah, yeah. When you and then I used my camera. <laughs> <laughs> So I think the important thing is also for us artists is to try get to use as many different technologies as possible. And that's why I'm showing some of the things I've done. Oh, that's, once again, I'm just playing around with ideas. Thanks for asking. You know, of course, we do try to be helpful in details, so you know, some of, sometimes we are remembering things that we thought were It's important, you know, to remember what you're doing. Thank you. 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 Okay, big bird eye. Uh, and forks. Forks are just doing mine. I was just playing around. Oh, you were playing around. Okay. Oh, I see. We didn't know that we were playing. I took it. We have people who can guess. You can supposed to be really this screwed this up, I gotta say. You see, this is. I just. I took it off, but I have a storage here. Uh, of course. I want to be honest, it was pretty tough. I was, first of all, I thought no one would turn up. Yeah, it was raining, yeah. 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 So, yeah. We're open to everything. So I just started to... Well, you know, what the hell is that? Unfortunately, so that's... Um, so this is... Just I was playing around, but I, I, I mean, I'm just playing. This is, this is in the conceptual phase. Conceptual. And when you smile, we're, we're, we're really, we're really scared. When you smile. <laughs> We're really, we're really scared. Thank you. Thank you.
you know where this is from now? Can you buy those little toys? Yes. 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 In the machines. Yeah. 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 Don't worry, we'll get rid of this stuff. <laughs> It's like watching a magician. <laughs> Actually, that's that's exactly what it is. It's just a matter of how hey, watch me pull around. Right By the way, this is, if you're talking about magicians, this is this was something that was discarded. You'll be happy it was discarded. Now, what do you think that's on? This is going to happen to us a lot. Say something from my Star Trek. Could someone hold that up? Maybe we should hold that. it up so the camera can see it. Thank you. Thank you. Can you see it? Yes, thank you. Table with a clear water body, I guess. Well, that yes, but it's not. I think we should pass that one all around and see if anyone really gets what I'm It is. Did they have that stuff like that? Yeah. 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 I don't know that it's cool to do. You can learn. Sometimes you do things like that. Being on like a little feather. And you'd see the bobs and everything. I did that. It's beautiful, right? I used to do it all the time. I mean, I can see by yours. You have all those things on the side. It's enough that you document things it's a different way. Yeah. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. Everybody is weird as well. We all are. 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 Yes. The universe is so um, we'll be here at 11.30. Actually, I grabbed some of the stuff that I was working on. This was... Um, uh -oh. This is... Uh, it hasn't really been completed, but it's, it's a persimmon. So I want to try and finish this up. And I've, this was just getting an idea of how to do this with poster paints first. And then I'll discard the poster paint. And I think I'll, I may have progressed with this because the nice idea is. Just hold it up a little bit well, so the camera can see it. It's more like. It's loose. Yeah, it is yeah. loose. No, but just loose. giving me ideas to maybe utilize um, the acrylic on it. Because the poster paint obviously isn't good. I was just getting an idea. Can you show it? Um, it's loose. It's loose. It's, yeah. But at least I have an idea what I might do with this one if I decide to keep the container. Mm -hmm. This was. I don't know if it was a persimmon. So I've, I've purchased these. I've never really tasted them. What is I was with my with my kids, and I said, "Wow, persimmon!" So I've never purchased them. It's fine. So then I was playing with these people. <laughs> but yeah, no, so I just I had this. I just grabbed this. Mm. I don't know. Has anyone eaten persimmons? Persimmons are good. Yes. Persimmons are good. Persimmons are good. Don't, don't, don't eat the middle part because it gets silly. Yeah. You gotta make them, you gotta get them soft. Yeah. 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 We enjoy them. Yeah. 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 They get to the shelf. Gold. So it's sour. 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 This is kind of more recent, but it, it reminds me of something Bill said to me the other day when we were talking about art. And he said, Oh, wow, sometimes the starters. <coughs> was it Dada that did the, the fur, fur teacup? Mm -hmm. Or what Oh, yeah. We looked up uh, the artist who did it, it was Oppenheim, yeah. and they did um, this uh, dartist or surrealistic idea to make a teacup uh, of fur, oh, which is totally absurd, yeah. which is kind of what the surrealistic school and what dartism is about, is to do things that are absurd. In fact, um, you know, there's other artists like Magritte. 
They were painting the sun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't People in bow the hats. Right. What did you think, think of Dolly? He was it was good. Dolly was excellent. Yeah. I mean, Dolly was out there. Yeah. This, yeah. this was just uh, yeah. 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 good out there, though. Yeah. I mean, he, he really <laughs> Well, one of the things I, I went to talk to him and I was very surprised about that is his Last Supper, when I mean, you compare it to yeah, the Lord of Vinci's Last Supper, yeah, he, he is the most times. frequently visited or, uh, picture in the world. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Knowledge? Yes. I went to his house. Oh, yeah. It's got all kinds of things yeah. growing yeah. out of it. Yeah. Really. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's Dali yeah. to a T. And it's also yeah. that the, the ceiling is. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's beautiful. Yeah, it is. But the, we, I was trying to work out yeah. why yeah. it's supposedly yeah. that yeah. more well known than Leonardo da Vinci. It's more seen right. than Leonardo da Vinci. It's just where it's located. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, it's, I believe, <coughs> in, um, in the Smithsonian in Washington. In, in, Oh, his last supper. He was purchased and damaged the first now. It became more frequent than the red was someone holding a watering can. So, Bill Hogg's name was kind of like a reminder that she was cut. Because we were out to an event and they were handing all of these things out. What are they? They were, um, they were like little lip glosses. Oh, yeah. oh okay. And they kept on handing them out, so I was just amused to make it. Two little Indians. And then, uh, sometimes I made smaller little um, printouts at the library, which is good because I like to learn how to use their printer. But then I decided to try and enter into a show, mm. a little poster that had a modern heart show. A modern heart? Right. Which is, it's, for, it's for the Valentine's Day show. Oh, and at that good. time I happened to be collecting some of the fortune cookie sayings from Chinese food. So I started to... <laughs> <super surprised. laughs> yeah. Well, actually, I, I was reading them too. I'm not going to sleep tonight, you know that. <laughs> I'll give you one of these. You can read all of these. Oh um, I, I have <coughs> no one has been hurt from laughing too much. Share your happiness with others today. Speak well of friends. That's cool. Be alert. Bravery. Practical knowledge. Bravery is the capacity to perform properly even when scared half to death. A long life may, may not be good. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> People rise to your expectations. Yeah, that's good. That wasn't chicken. No, no. I actually, I actually no, showed that a long <laughs> life may not be good <laughs> enough, <laughs> but a good <laughs> life is long enough. Oh, oh, oh yeah. well, that's deep. That makes yeah. sense. That's Confucius say. Yeah. 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 People rise to your expectations. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. 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 The best view yeah. 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 is a good friend. Yeah. 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 And I went last week for sketching. What a nice idea. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, it was, it was shot, and it's it's very very nice. they were always nice. interested in the large methods. I like that. Well, you sure you were in Heat Ash Ferry in 1968? <laughs> <laughs> what happened then? Oh, you said you were that. I said you were that. LSD. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like more easy to be in the very first place. That was in California. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I can just stop. Okay. Yeah. 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 You no idea. Oh, I was uh, talking to someone and he gifted this item to me, which I was surprised. I didn't keep it, Carol, really, please, because in the end he gifted it to me because you know why? 
It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> so I took it home and I thought, oh wow, I'm going to try and use this thing. But it didn't work. So then I had a little bit of... Actually, it's yeah. that inverted spray paint. And then I did take a photograph. Now, what was the item? I can't figure it out. Can anyone figure it out? Like it's hard. You're right. Okay, back to the guitar. It's about the strings. Is it really? Okay, so you've got a guitar. It's a guitar. You win the prize. Let me ask you, what type of guitar? It's a Fender Telecaster. Actually, that's pushing it a little bit. I don't know about this person, but this is a Hannah Montana guitar. Once again, I was actually going to go to an event what? at the Museum of My Life that I wanted to see. And I walked past the Art League and I went in there and I just got the catalog. Yep. And I just saw how many good artists there are. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. And, but then I did see that they had certain uh, instructors in assemblage. Um, it's, it's there again and it's different because there are some people who go to assemblage and use easels. So then they also put out tables. Which is very different. Is different. Very different. And that's kind of what I'm saying about mm -hmm. with Jackson mm -hmm. Pollock. He went there. He was I mean, he was something like that. Ben Tanner. Ben Tanner. He was there for two years, actually. You're right. Yeah, he was there. Yeah. And what I've discovered is that he did actually influence, um, mm -hmm. like, Andy Warhol. Because he did some printing as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been a long, long, long time. Open thought. I have yeah, my, it's, I have yeah, my yeah, I'm sure if, you know, there's other places too. But I, what I liked about it is that it was sort of come as, as you can, but you know, you can take a man and then you can go. Exactly, and, and you can get a locker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so that's, that's kind of what I'm sort of intrigued about. Yeah. It. And there is, you'd be good at it. Really you say, think like you do. No, they think like you do too. I want to tell you. Well, that is, is, yeah. Yeah. That's He's getting you're, I, mean, I can't do it. No, but I didn't mean it that way, but I mean, no. you, you're, you're very no, open good to everything. And that's how it is. That's what I meant. You walk into the place on it and everybody's talking. Right. The teacher's talking. Everybody's painting. Well, people moving around. Yes, well, Every different yeah. weather you could possibly imagine. Yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah. 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 Anyway, thanks for